In this video, I'm going to show you guys my favorite methods to remove an inner tie rod. First, I'm going to show you guys some common tools you can use to remove the uh, inner tie rod. The first tool is going to be an adjustable wrench. So as you can see, this adjustable wrench fits perfectly and you can definitely remove the inner tie rod with an adjustable wrench. Next, you can use a pipe wrench. This also works just as well and it bites onto the inner tie rod extremely well. If you don't have any of those tools, you can also get yourself an inner tie rod tool set and that will work just as well. If you drive a truck, there should be enough space to use a, a pipe wrench or an adjustable wrench to get to the inner tie rod. However, if you drive like an SUV or you have a passenger vehicle, sometimes it can be pretty tight in there to get to the inner tie rod. So you're going to have to use this tool set to get to the uh, inner tie rod. There are two tie rods on a typical vehicle. The outer tie rod is mounted to the uh, steering knuckle and the inner tie rod is going to be where this rubber boot is at. As you can see in this vehicle, there's not much space to use an adjustable wrench or a pipe wrench. So again, you're going to have to use one of this tool to remove the inner tie rod. The way this tool works, the first thing you want to do is make sure you get the correct size for the inner tie rod. And once you find the correct size, you want to make sure it actually fit properly. So imagine this inner tie rod is in there. So you take this tool, you place it over here like this. Next, you get this tool, place it over, place it over like that. So this is how it's going to look like. Once you got that in, you want to twist this part over here to make sure you lock it in place. As you can see, the tool locked the inner tie rod in place. Next thing you want to do, you want to get a half inch extension. You want to use a, a jack stand as support. And then you want to use a half inch breaker bar or a ratchet. And all you have to do is just break it loose by going counterclockwise. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.